At nearly two years ago, a couple was ambushed at the Riverside home, a deadly blow that shocked their community. Nine on your side reporter Ashley Zilka spoke exclusively with that woman tonight. She has our top story. A knock at this door would change Patricia Temke's life forever. She thought someone was shouting for help, so she opened it. Instead, it was a neighbor who planned to kill her and her boyfriend. May 27th, 2015, a typical night for Patricia Temke and her boyfriend, Stephen Snodgrass. It was on a Wednesday evening and I made pork chops, a nice dinner. Temke says they went to bed right before 10, not long after. And there was a horrific pounding on the door. Temke answered the door of a River Road home, unknowingly letting danger get right to her. I was in the door frame and he grabbed me by my hair and drug me. Her next door neighbor, Michael Barnett, pulled her to the sidewalk, beat her and stabbed her several times. I just knew I was going to die. I just kept thinking about my family finding me that way. Tempke tried to crawl to her neighbor's door. Michael Barnett just thought that was the funniest thing that he ever saw. He was laughing, this evil cackle, like, it was horrible. That's when she says she heard her boyfriend's voice. And I could vaguely hear Steve holler, hey, get off her, and I passed out. Barnett then turned on Snodgrass, eventually killing him. When I came to... I found Steve's body in a pool of blood under his head. A brutal crime that police say all happened because of a dispute over a patch of asphalt between their homes. Temke's daughter, Angela Lay, says to this day, Barnett has never showed remorse. When you're rocking your mom and telling her it's okay when you're used to your mom rocking you and saying it's going to be okay, you know, he, he, he tried to destroy us, but he won't. Just weeks ago, Barnett was sentenced by a judge. It's one of the reasons why Tempe is now ready to tell her story about the man she loved. Now's the time for us all to think about Steve with the love and just the laughter and the dancing that, that he always did. Barnett was facing the death penalty, but since he pleaded guilty, he was sentenced to 23 years to life in prison. Reporting on River Road, Ashley Zilka, not on your side.